In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for AlF6, 3 minus. So the first thing we're going to do, count the valence electrons up. Aluminum's in group 13, sometimes called 3A. It has 3. Fluorine group 17, sometimes called 7A. That'll have 7, but we have these 6 fluorine atoms. And then this 3 minus, that means we have 3 additional electrons. So we're going to add 3 more there. That'll give us a total of 48 valence electrons for the ALF6 3 minus Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative element at the center. That's the aluminum. So we'll have Al at the center, and then we have six fluorine atoms. So we'll place those around the outside. So we have 48 total valence electrons for the ALF6 3 minus Lewis structure. We'll place electrons between atoms. That's going to form the chemical bond. At this point, we've used 10 valence electrons. That's more than an octet, but aluminum, it can have an expanded octet. So we have 10, so let's complete the octets around the fluorines until we use 48 valence electrons. So we've used all 48 of our valence electrons. Let's replace the electrons, the pair of electrons that form the chemical bond between the aluminum and the fluorine with single bonds. That'll be a lot clearer. Next, let's put brackets around the Lewis structure since this is an ion. And then we'll put that charge, that 3 minus, on the outside. So this is our Lewis structure. Let's take a look at the molecular geometry and the bond angles for a moment. Note we have six fluorine atoms and no lone pairs. So we had our six fluorine atoms, and they're going to spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. That's five, six. When we do that, we end up with this molecular geometry here of octahedral. The electron geometry, that's going to be the same because there's no lone pairs. So this is the molecular geometry, and you can see the bond angles here for our ALF6-3- Lewis structure. Let's go back, and you could also use the AXE notation. A, that's the central atom. X, those are the number of atoms bonded. We have six. E, that would be the lone pairs. We don't have any lone pairs. So AX6, if you look that up, molecular geometry will be octahedral. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure molecular geometry and bond angles for ALF6-3-. Thanks for watching.